A surgical team at Massachusetts General Hospital says it has successfully completed the world's first transplant of a genetically modified pig kidney into a person. The surgery took about four hours as doctors connected the kidney's blood vessels to the kidney and bladder of a 62-year-old man. Doctors say the patient's doing well and is expected to get discharged from the hospital soon. Over 100,000 people are currently waiting for kidney transplants in the U.S. Dr. Joran Madsen is the director of the Massachusetts General Hospital Transplant Center and joins us now to talk about this. Dr. Madsen, thanks for joining us today. These uh, kidneys, how are they modified in the pigs to make sure that they are viable for a person? Uh, they're modified in three ways. Uh, genes are knocked out. Uh, genes that encode proteins that are deleterious to humans. Uh, genes are knocked in. Uh, human genes that make the organ more compatible with humans. And then importantly, genes are removed that code for viruses, for pig viruses that some investigators worry about infecting the human recipient. So those are the three different buckets uh, that are addressed in these gene edits. Has this ever been attempted before? I know other organs, they have tried to use pig organs. I know there was a heart put in for a man who was dying and, and you know, it gave him a couple of extra days. But I'm just wondering if with a kidney, this has been attempted before. This has never been attempted before. Um, uh, this is the, the first time in the history of, of mankind that a genetically edited kidney has been uh, transplanted into a human being. Okay, so when you say it's genetically um, edited and it has been changed, it's the idea is that the body then won't reject it, correct? That's right. Uh, the, I would say that the body has less vigorous rejection. Uh, normally, the human body uh, vigorously rejects pig tissue. And so we uh, try to prevent that by modifying the organ. But we also uh, were lucky enough to use uh, new monoclonal antibodies that are specific, specifically effective in preventing the immune response against uh, pig tissue. That was another important part of this uh, treatment regimen. If the body is going to reject the new organ, would that happen very quickly, within hours or days? Yeah, uh, if we hadn't uh, modified the heart or the, the kidney, uh, it would have rejected in minutes. But with the treatment that we um, uh, used and with the genetically modified organ, uh, we don't expect it to reject, hopefully, for a very long time. Is the prognosis then that this person will go home with this new kidney and, and sort of get back to as much of a normal routine in life as they can? That, that's our hope. And in fact, it's our dream. And I have to say that the, the, the transplanting surgeon uh, uh, thought that this was one of the best looking kidneys he's ever seen. And he's been in the business for 20 years. What does that mean? That means that it, when he transplanted it into the body and it was reestablished um, to the blood flow of the human body, it pinked up immediately, started to make urine, and um, was what he could describe as one of the most beautiful kidneys that he's ever seen, including the human kidneys he's transplanted. So this means the person does no longer have to, to go for dialysis, which you would normally have to do, I guess, every few days? That's exactly right. Okay, so what's the future of this? I mean, of course, you'll have to monitor this, this patient, see how they do over a longer period of time, but what does this open the door to in, in this particular procedure of replacing the kidney with a pig kidney? Yeah, this is a momentous event uh, because it has the potential to solve the biggest problem facing transplant now, which is the shortage of donor organs. Every day, uh, over 30 people worldwide die on the waiting list because there just are not enough human organs to go around. So if this becomes a reality, it, it would have a huge effect in uh, saving lives across the world. How long do you think it'll take before you start doing this in a more regular way? Well, uh, if everything goes well, I think it will... Um, result in the public and the FDA being proactive about this type of therapy. That would lead to then clinical trials uh, that will 
define exactly the benefit of this treatment. And if that proves successful, then I think you'll see more and more, at least in the kidney, uh, then down the road, other organs. So we're talking a few years? I think so, yes. Got it. Dr. Madsen, great to have you on this, sir. Thanks for joining us, and congratulations on the success of the team. Thank you very much.